But I mean, that's the thing. Like, for me, it's like, you know, the climate's always changing. You hear that from people that, you know, might want to deny that climate change is happening. We can go back through the geological record through ice cores and see these epochs of human history that were wildly different than today. You know, we could be sitting here in, in Malibu, either on ice or, you know, in, in a desert. But we know a few things about the era that we're living in today. There's a large amount of CO2 that's released the atmosphere from the burning of fossil fuels. We can measure that. We can look at the isotopic signature and see where that carbon is coming from and look at the, the levels. And we know in the laboratory that, you know, when you, when you have carbon dioxide and sources of, of heat, of infrared light, that it absorbs that and it traps it and it doesn't re radiate out in space. And sure, these models are complex and there are things we don't know and there's lots of uncertainty. But if you look at the trends and the emissions and the heating and all of these things, uh, we can start to put together a picture of what we're doing. And I think the most important thing is not that these are unprecedented in the history of our planet changes. It's that they're unprecedented in human history. And our ability to adapt to, you know, it's the rate of change, it's the derivative, how fast things are changing. Our ability to adapt really is not as quick, near as quick, as those changes are happening. <laughs>